In this video, I want to go over HubSpot email notifications. There are many different types of notifications that you can receive from HubSpot. And I want to talk about email specifically, show you where you would go to modify those settings, show you how to turn them off entirely if you want, or selectively pick which ones are relevant to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Chris from Boolean Automation. We are a no-code consulting company that works specifically with painting companies. So if you are a painting company and you happen to use HubSpot, or maybe you're a painting company and you're looking for a better CRM, I'd love to sit down with you and tell you a little bit about what we do here at, at Boolean and how we eliminate hundreds of hours every single month of data entry for painting companies. All right, so let's get into this video of email notifications. All right, so first thing here, I'm in the general settings. I'm gonna navigate back to here. If you've been setting up your account along with me in this video series, you will notice that if you go to the email tab and scroll all the way to the bottom, there is this notifications are off button. You can turn that on. And then this is going to say, so browser notifications, choose what you get notified about. Email opens, email clicks, document views, lead revisits, prospect revisits. So you can turn on these different ones. These are kind of cool to, to be able to have that. When you go to right here, you can see that it says manage notifications, and that's going to take you to the notifications tab. And now the nice thing, this is I think a fantastic feature of HubSpot, is that it breaks up the types of notifications into different tabs. So you have email notifications, which is exactly what it sounds like, desktop notifications, you have a couple different options, which we'll dive into in a second. And then you have mobile app notifications. So if you have the mobile app on your phone, you can set up the push notifications that you get just like you would get notified from like a social media app. The other apps you can turn on or get, you know, you can integrate Slack. I'm not going to go into that in this video. And I am personally not someone that uses Microsoft Teams, so we won't talk about that. But there is these other options to integrate and get notified if you if your company uses one of these. So let's jump into email first. If you are brand new, you just created your account, honestly, my recommendation would be to leave your email notifications on. And if you click expand all items here, we can kind of skim through these. I will tell you that once you use HubSpot for a while, I personally turn off all of my email notifications and you can do that by just toggling off here. If you're new, I would recommend keeping them on because I personally remember when I started using HubSpot, I found it really valuable just to see what type of stuff HubSpot could notify me about. And then as you start to get email notifications, you could decide and say, hmm, I actually don't need to know about Academy um, notifications or if there's ads that are running. If I'm a sales rep, I don't really care about ads. Um, if you're a marketing person, maybe you do want that. I don't need to have blogs. And I would say if I'm, I'm going through these from the perspective of a sales rep, I would say these, I don't need, I don't need to know that. For a sign, I, that could be, depending on the structure of how you guys set this up, it would be nice to know if you ever get a chat conversation assigned to you or an email conversation assigned to you and you only would get a, notify, a notification if it did get assigned to you. So I think that makes sense to me. If someone mentions you, that's definitely something that you probably would want to keep on to make sure you don't miss that. If you're curious what that is, we'll have a separate video that kind of explains how me messaging or communicating inside of HubSpot to employees works. But I'm not gonna go through every one of these, but I would just skim this and see what looks valuable or interesting to you. Again, from the sales rep perspective, you're probably going to want to be more alerted on deals. Probably don't need to be notified when forms are submitted. Uh, the marketplace is not relevant to sales reps. Notification topics, you could turn off. Approvals, you probably need to notif be notified of that. Projects, I don't recommend painting company use projects, but you may uh, wanna experiment with that. If there's updates to records, you could do that. I'm going to turn that one off. The marketplace, we're going to turn off. Partners, we're going to turn off. Quotes, uh, we don't recommend using the quote feature in HubSpot, so you could turn all those off. If you guys are, that would be where you can do that. Security, I think that's good to keep on. 
Uh, but basically, you can come back in. I think it's good to just kind of skim this and see what is possible to be alerted for. And then down here, you can see this website visits is really interesting. So HubSpot actually tracks and can tell which user, once a user submits a form, I should say, it knows when hub, when contacts are then revisiting sites. So you can choose to be alerted when contacts that you are the owner of visit the websites, or do you want to get a an alert in an email or real-time alert in your activity feed? So you can change that there. And then workflows, probably not applicable to sales reps, but that would be my recommendation there. So that is your all of your email notification settings inside of HubSpot. And I think just for the sake of um, simplifying this, we're going to separate, I'll, I'll make a, um, a separate video for desktop notifications and mobile app notifications just to keep these uh, succinct. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about desktop notifications.